Right yeah, then. <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna need to do a few things. I first need to pick up the ink ribbon so I can like drop it in the stack. Yeah, just leave sh shit scattered about all about the place. It's fine. It's not like anybody lives here. We might as well like take the two statues and put them on the balance thing. Yeah, that was I was about to do that. While we're here. Yeah. And maybe she should use a herb. Do we even have herbs left? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to like, just use that shit. Just waste healing items. Willy nilly. Oh, let's go use those items. Follow me. Yeah. So, in this little lull period before two episodes uh, recordings. We were talking a bit about Resident Evil 2, uh, Resident Evil 6, and how we'd rather play that. And I hate that game. <laughs> I am honestly, I never thought I'd like say that. I am, I am not particularly fond of Resident Evil 6. I think it's silly fun. Wait, we don't need to use this right now. Why not? Try putting the black one down first. Okay. And now let's try putting down the white one. That that was very odd. I guess we were on the line properly. How weird. Um Oh okay, the statue is missing a wing. I think we need to get a wing for it. Okay, well we can just leave them there we'll for now. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'll just leave that here. Fuck that shit. Uh, we need to go through that door. Get a grenade launcher for Billy Boy. And all the rest of the crap that was in that room that we didn't have space to carry. I think we all left a grenade launcher there. Kind of rummage through everything else. And then we need to solve that, like, puzzle thing in the giant boss fight room. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Wrong button. Follow me! Yeah. Yes, take the grenade launcher. Um, I'm just considering where Billy should be grenade launcher duty or shotgun duty. I don't trust the bot to make like good decisions. <laughs> okay, let's like explore what else is here. We have this one door, which has a water motif. Mm, okay. So we need a fire key and a water key. Can we investigate the clock? Like, back? Um, wait, we have this guy. Here, and we have a clock. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Well, we might as well go back up the stairs then. And play with cranks. I just wonder, was this like the natural evolution of Resident Evil games? I don't like, know. Like, was it meant to just be a multiplayer game at one point in, but its existence, considering this game and then 5 and then 6? Yeah, I mean, this feels like it should have been a multiplayer game. Yeah. Okay, we have one crank to move. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, Rebecca's too weak because she's a little girl. See? Wasn't it a good idea we went to get Billy? Okay. Now he holds death. We switch. Go down there, get attacked, he drops the cage on us, kills us, game over. Yep. Would you have... I have space, okay, good, that's good. Something's gonna come through that grating. Like, you know there's gonna be a leech, leech monster there. Oh, probably. Or a leech monster. Ooh, it's a key. No, it's, it's a giant centipede. It's a giant bug! 
Great. Isn't it? Wait, what? Really? Rebecca. Why didn't the cage drop on him? Okay. Good thing he Isn't got a grenade launcher. Good job, he's got a grenade launcher. <laughs> Get back here! Um, we don't have ammo anymore. Oh dear. Well! Hope you like knife fights. <laughs> oh dear. This isn't this isn't working out. This game, man. <laughs> this is not working out at all. We're not gonna survive this. <laughs> like, there's no way this is gonna be survived. Did we say? Probably gonna die now. This game is owning you! This is not a fair fight. It really isn't a fair fight. Like, do we need to drop the crank or something on it? It's not moving anywhere where it can do that. And big is that. <laughs> this game is absolutely owning you. This is such bullshit. Resident Evil Zero. <gasps> I think what we <sighs> maybe need to do. <laughs> Is make as we sure start Billy the game. Has, yeah. <laughs> and make sure Billy has both the grenade launcher and the shotgun. Yeah, that was my next plan. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Just leave everything here. I don't care about order. Leave the statues. We don't have the wing. Leave everything. Fuck this. Fuck everything. <laughs> Fuck this, fuck this, give Billy all the weapons. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got to go back and get the grenade launcher again. Yeah. <sighs> you know what this reminded me of? What? Of that fucking tunnel scene with uh, Helena and Leon when the fish was chasing us and we were out of ammo. Oh god. And it's like, yep, I might just will wait until we die because we don't have a bullet for the scripted, scripted barrel explosion. The, a single bullet. A single bullet, yeah. Okay. So give Billy all the guns. <laughs> Actually, we might need a knife. Um, in case we, that's, <laughs> we'll, okay, this is all not we'll enough. Give, we'll give Rebecca the gun with two bullets. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what have I done okay, with my okay, okay. Yep, yep, he is he is properly armed now. And, and if this is if this is not enough we might as well just restart the game because apparently those two ammo boxes and uh, the fucking train completely destroyed our progress. <laughs> okay. This is so ridiculous. This is, this is, yeah. And you know, I'm not gonna assume there's some gimmick in all of this, because that scorpion was no gimmick, because, and I overthought that one. They tell you the scorpion was just like, shoot. Yeah. Okay, let's take the facility key, which will let loose a high-frequency noise that will alert the centipede monster and summon it. And now Billy will use all the ammo. Rebecca. 
Imagine if the game hadn't let us use the grenade launcher because it might have hurt Rebecca. Imagine for a moment if don't, you Don't. Don't. I don't even want to. Frustrated again. <sighs> oh, thank god. Do you see this shit? How much <laughs> ammo we need to use for this single oh, motherfucker? Jesus. This is ludicrous. Yes. This is lunacy. I swear to god, this fucking. Don't give me achievement, Steam. I don't care about this. But what did she find? Oh, it was the facility key, wasn't it? Well, at least we know where there's two herbs if we need them. Yes, and it's accompanied by three zombies. Which we don't have the ammo to go and deal with right now. Oh, it's the fire key! It's the fire key. Yay! We have the fire key! I don't even know what to do with my life anymore. Um, th this is, this we is, have this is. four bullets between us. Great! Like, holy shit, what am I supposed to do now? Um... Use the fire key! Open the fire doors! Yeah, and knife zombies behind them. Okay, um... Okay, here, here's the deal. First we're gonna go and save. Yes. And there's like, apparently, I don't know if you see it, but there's this like little, little drop here on, on the bottom of the map. There's an arrow that points downwards. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. I think that drops you uh, somewhere where you can unlock the door from the other side. Yeah. I think that so balcony, by the way, that balcony that was outside, yeah. where the two herbs are and the three zombies, I am pretty certain when you touch that door, it said the door is now unlocked. No, it's that was the locked door. Are you sure? I am, I'm really confident. I don't know. Look, well, let's just save and we'll send one person out with a knife scowling. Because <laughs> that's all we've got. <laughs> um, I, I have, I do not have a better idea at this point in time. <laughs> this is horrible. This game is awful. I'm just putting that out there. Here, here I was thinking, like, oh man, look, we played Wheel Man. Let's play a good game after that. You know, I want let's play a good game. I want, I don't want frustrations. I don't want sadness. I don't want disappointment in my life. I just want to play something fine. Well, you picked the wrong game for that! The worst part is that this game is, like, fundamentally broken. Like, it works well at a technical level. It's extremely polished. Everything, like, everything is, is like, well made, but on a fundamental level, it just doesn't work. Yeah. There are some very interesting design choices, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, let, let's, let's drop this fucking microfilm. I don't even know anymore. Okay, I need a knife. Well, we have this. multiple We're... knives. Oh, you can't come leave on. any more in this room. Oh my fucking <sighs> hell. Let me quickly restack um, stuff that can be restacked. <laughs> you can't leave any more in this room. Oh, gee, thanks, game. Okay, let, let, let's let's stack these two. The fatal flaw in our leave all the shit in an easily accessible place plan. Yeah. Okay, where's the other ring ribbon? I don't even know anymore. I, I think that's the thing. No, that's the microfilm. Oh my god. Is the, is that? 
there's something glowing here exactly stuck on the screen transition. Is that the encryption? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's leave that here. Okay, and now let's stack up the barrels, or the gas things, and then just leave that as well. If Rebecca would, like, look at it. Like, is it a memory constraint? Is it, like, a balance issue? I don't know. Okay, now we love the shot. <sighs> This game is... Okay, first thing I want to do is check that drop from all the way up. Okay. Um, Rebecca is on fine status, right? Right, okay. Yeah. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Let me just equip these two poor bullets. Or maybe I should just like save them for a billion for Rebecca. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this fucking game. Next time we're playing something, I'm looking at the fucking meta score before we start. Started this knowing it was not well received. Yeah, we did, but I didn't expect like this kind of issue. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, there was something here. Yeah, that's the arrow thing. Let's go and see what that's about. Oh, never mind. There's a box there, and we can't push boxes. We're not strong enough. Bugger off, birds, please. We're going ah. to have to knife some birds. <laughs> okay, that's the hamsters. Okay, let's go and find fire doors, I guess. Fucking centipede. <laughs> Oh, those are sassy knights. Okay, the room with the grenade launcher had a water door. I remember that much. The fire door. There's a fire door um, quite near. The f we, we saw two fire yeah. doors, I think. So there is one, um, like the first few rooms we went into when we came in here, one of them had a fire door. Like in yeah. behind. There's, it's downstairs. There's yeah. a fire door downstairs. Yeah. Downstairs left is a clock door. I remember that. The one where the lich thing. Yeah, downstairs on the right is a fire door. And I think upstairs all the way left is another fire door. Okay, well we'll go down, do the downstairs one first. Yeah. Don't you sass me, Billy. He's, swear, he's just it, pretending it, it, to be a sassy knight. I swear, if zombies are re spawning. Ah! The fire key will let you into the kitchen. Yeah. There might be ammo in the kitchen. Oh god, please let there be ammo in the kitchen. <laughs> There's probably no ammo in the kitchen. Okay, no immediate enemies, but knowing this game... Modus operandi so far it's just gonna spawn. What is it. that? Lighter fluid. Interesting. Is yeah. the lighter actually like limited? Okay. Oh there's, there's a, a bottle. bottle so that we can make some more of. Okay, okay that I expect I honestly expected that to be here. So that's okay. Okay. Boy, lighter fluid probably is something that you can mix. What else have we got in here? But no, of course there is no ammo in the kitchen. Why would there be ammo in the kitchen? Wait, is that really it? We came in here for a fucking bowl. And some spices and seasonings!
That's 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 great game. Thanks. We really needed bullets, but you gave us some lighter fluid and a bottle. Thanks. I I am at a loss for words. Well, we might as well go make Billy some Molotovs. Yeah. Because we've got. Oh, there's all. a zombie. Hmm. There's a zombie down there too. You've got fuck all else going for us right now. <laughs> This game's awful! Yep. Pretty gosh darn awful. Okay, so... Uh, good news, we have three Molotovs. So let me just, like... I need to remember the bottom line, it's better for examine, okay. Okay, it's massive damage to certain types of enemies. I'm not sure if that worked in the leech thing because that kind of screws us over. Um, exchange. I might as well drop the gas fans. Oh, oh my god, it does actually use- Oh, are you for real? Oh god, the game. Come on. That's like mean. Okay. So you can use the lighter three times before it's out of fuel. Jesus, game! Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we have another door we need to take care yeah, of. Yeah, we need to go find it. <laughs> this game is awful! It's so pretty and it's so bad. I'm I'm just like considering at the moment should I carry a shotgun with me in case I find ammo while exploring. But you're probably gonna find other less important shite. Let's face it. Why don't you just both I'm... go? Just both go. Um, uh, he's at like half health and has two bullets. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Where is my shotgun? It's on the floor somewhere. <laughs> Oh god, did I get it stuck on the screen? No, you is dumped it shotgun? over in the corner. There it is. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, it's upstairs. See, now you don't have enough inventory space for all the random useless shite you're going to have to carry. Well, I'm gambling on the fact that... We might have to- we might get to throw away the fire key. Yes. Exactly. So let's, let's, let's try and reevaluate where it is. Um, yeah, there are two doors uh, on the left. I think one of those two doors was. Yeah, the fire. one of those two is. I'm pretty sure of it. This is like ridiculous. Like, if you think about it, making a Molotov requires. Um, Requires an empty bottle, requires gas, and then you need to have lighter fluid, like enough for that shit. Ah, I know I should have killed you. Okay, how do we avoid that guy? I can try bathing a lunge out of him and then just go around him. That's the best shot I've got. It's the only shot you've got. Well, I have two other shots. <laughs> They're not enough. Okay. Nail it. There's a lot of like insult to injury in this game because of like, oh you have limited shit and then you also have respawning zombies and it's just like the entire world is more against you than any Resident Evil game I've played so far. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is the elevator room, so we have one last room over there. I'm hoping that's actually the fire thing. And not a clock key. Yep, it's a fire one. Please discard the key. Ah, oh, thank god. Okay, yay! We have reclaimed some inventory space! Woo! Well, I bet we're gonna get attacked by a leech. Probably. Probably. Okay, let's see if we rummage right in here. 
How big is this room even? Oh, look at that. That When we reach the end of this hallway, we're gonna get attacked. Yep. Oh, interesting. Oh god, handgun ammo. Ammo! Oh god, ammo shotgun. for both guns! Ammo for both yeah. guns! Oh, it's the most exciting thing that's happened all night! Okay. And we have some paperwork that we can read as well. I'm gonna save, like, the other stack for Billy. Yeah. We've got oh, paper we can read. Here. What are you Albert? I wonder who Albert could be. Well, bo both of those are like William Birkin and Albert Wesker. Yeah. So. There's something ruthless and cruel about them. Oh, it's no practical. Shit, Sherlock. It's pr it's practical Al. I thought it was like practical AI and was confused for it. Oh, moment. Scholar Will and Practical Al. <sighs> oh God, the Wesker's nickname is Al. Practical Al. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, we shall call him Practical Al. <laughs> Instead of it being, damn you, Wesker, it was, damn you, Practical Al! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A switch. <laughs> yeah! What's the worst that could happen? I want to try and push this all the way to the corner and see if there's anything on that shelf. I mean, you've got to be- it must be able to slide it for a reason. Yeah, there has to be something. Let's look this and see what's up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we turned on some lights. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. Uh, okay, we didn't push it too far. Okay. Let's do this stupid shit again. Because it wasn't enough doing it in Resident Evil 1. Okay. Imagine if, like, Rebecca just said, Oh, I'm not strong enough to push this. I am uh, belly. It's a fucking table. Well, considering how like hard it is to push that table, it must be made of like I don't know metal, painted to look like wood. What have we found? Oh, it's it's a it's clock. An iron. Oh, it's that one. It's the missing hand. <gasps> so we can fix the clock and turn it to eight fifteen and open the clock doors. Yeah. Yay! I don't know. Okay, is it called something else now? No, it's still called an iron needle. Okay, we have like a goal. We have a goal. So we also can... have a zombie. We need to pass again. Uh, where was the? Where was the clock room? Um, I'm trying to remember where the clock was. It was at the elevator room, right? Um, it was before. It was the room before the elevator room. Right, right. So I'm just gonna go get Billy and go there with him together by elevator. Yeah. So we don't have to go through a crow area. Let's do that. This game, man. Oh great, frame rate drop when I'm supposed to kite as a kind of zombie. There we go. See how much easier this game is when you're not plugging an AI partner? <laughs> That's because escorts are the worst! 
Okay, and now it's a cue for something to fall through the ceiling and attack us. Yeah, I could see something horrible happening pretty soon, because it's been a whole ten minutes since the last horrible thing happened. Uh, and I actually know now that I think about it, I'm gonna go around instead. Because I'd rather avoid crows than that zombie in the hallway. Ah, uh, hey Billy. Something Sorry. horrible's so probably on. due to happen, so we should probably save. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at this point we have like... <sighs> Billy, please save. Oh no, wait, that's not the save thing, that's a microfilm. No, no, Billy. No, that's microfilm. I'm just gonna keep saving at new slots. Because I feel I'm gonna screw myself forward at some point. Oh, probably. Okay, let's. Oh. Let's, like, inventory manage. Exchange, give that to him there. He can probably just drop the ink ribbon now. Yeah, come We probably put the grenade be. launcher down because we don't have any grenades. Yeah. Well, we'll just do this. My current strategy is just if anyone runs out of ammo, I just give him the knife. Okay. Let's go! Yeah. Oh no, wait, uh, the other room is this way. Almost made a boo boo. This is probably the worst uh, numbered Resident Evil I've played. Yeah. So far. I'm not gonna say worst Resident Evil ever because I, I'm not gonna be stu silly enough to say that Gun Survivor or Gaiden is better than this because they, they are probably infinitely worse. But this is this is still pretty bloody bad. Oh god, where did all these crows appear? There, were, there was less of you before. Telling you, you should have knifed them. If this was Resident Evil 4, I'd knife the shit out of them. The knife in this <laughs> game is absolutely horrible. Yeah. I've heard Code Veronica has a stupidly good knife. But oh, all yeah. the other Resident Evil are pretty bad. Yeah, I haven't played Kuranka yet, aside from a bit of the start. But I heard that one has like a stupidly good knife. Okay, so we want to turn the minute hand to 15. Yeah. And the hour hand to 8. Ah, excellent. We have alerted all the leeches. We've woken up all the enemies and possibly opened the clock doors, hopefully. Okay, that's one, two. Two doors. Yeah. Okay, okay so there's the one. There's one downstairs and there's the one upstairs. We should do the downstairs one first. Ah, uh, downstairs one is where we got fucked up by the leech thing. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna come back. It'll be fine. Um, okay, well then we'll do the upstairs one and potentially get fucked up by another leech thing. So the upstairs one is one big room, and the downstairs one is one windy room, and they all look like uh, something's gonna happen in this room areas. Well, you can pick then. I'll just go with the first one. We'll just go into the first one we find. Yeah, that's the top one. Okay. No, fuck off. Thank you, Billy. I mean, while you're up here, you might as well, like, push the crate, no? Um... The thing is, the, cr the crate is like an anel- I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna tell Billy- I'm gonna tell Rebecca to wait here. I'll go check over there. Yeah. And then go with Billy. Um... I think there's nowhere to push the crate. I think you need to, like, lower that elevator before you do that. And I don't think you can pull. 
Unless that's a new mechanic in this game, like pulling stuff. Not <laughs> nope. Mostly, I just wanted to see that happen. And I think yeah, now we're so in I danger mode. Yeah, I think we're gonna mode. have to lower that. Is he in danger mode now? He's an orange caution. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's all right. Everything's fine. This way. Okay. Come on, Billy. Come on. You know, I recently found out, or rather, rem like realized that the very, very first Resident Evil didn't have that holding your guts as you're slowly dying thing. Oh yeah. The like very, very first PlayStation one. Apparently that was introducing too. Hmm. Which is funny because I always kind of like thought that as a trademark thing of the series. Yeah. Okay. Bets on the table what are we fighting here? Dogs or leeches? Leech guy, or dog leeches? Leech guy, leech guy. There is something here. Oh, there's a zombie. Okay, we have paperwork. No, there's another zombie here. That's another headshot. That's another headshot. We're doing it well on the headshot count. Yes. We have paperwork. We have my microfilm. But most importantly, we have some paperwork. Okay. <laughs> Is it going to be about practical owl? <laughs> no, it's a verse of poetry. Oh, it's poetry. Okay. Let's read this shit then. What? That's the worst poem. That's, That's the poetry. worst fucking poem I have ever read. I'm guessing that's a clue to solve a stupid puzzle regarding Probably, the right. earth and the moon and the sun. Ammo! The... Oh my gosh! Sweet, sweet, blessed ammunition. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that we have ammo before running out of it. Okay, that's microphone B. Anything else in this little hellhole? Uh, nope, I don't see anything else. Okay. So now it's the other clock door. Yeah. I'm slowly wondering... We're gonna need the microphone for some place. Yeah, so it's, like... it's probably got plot on it. Okay, let's like... We can either gamble that we'll have microfilm necessary in the room we're going to. Or we can... And I'm just gonna leave this pistol here. But to be fair, if we nope. need it, we can always send somebody back for it. Yeah, also I'm not leaving the pistol here. You know what I am doing though? I'm picking this up, using it, and leaving the pistol here. So, hot game. Actually, let me just like examine this. Uh... Okay, this is an army gun, and he's currently using the star's gun, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's using Rebecca's gun. I'm assuming they're identical. So yeah, well, I'm just gonna leave this here. And use the statue. Yeah, I mean, you might as well put both statues on this just to free up space in the room. Well, I'll do that next if we are missing it again. Okay. Right. I'm not sure if that's a fire effect or what, but like going in that camera angle just destroys the frame rate. I'm guessing it's the fire's fault. Probably. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now it's like infinitely better. Okay, let's hope that that leech thing is not here anymore. Oh god, oh god. Well, that's two more bullets you don't have. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Okay, there's something here, I can't see it. 
This is absolutely the worst camera angle, and yes, we need the microphone here. Well, send somebody back for it. Oh, good job, Billy. Yeah, send Billy back for it. Or somebody. <gasps> Handgun ammo. We're getting an awful lot of ammo all of a sudden. Wait, is that like two stacks? Oh no, it's just like... It looked... It, it tricked me. I thought it was like two boxes of ammo, but it was actually looking at the same spot from two different screens. Uh, right, I think... Yeah, send somebody with inventory space back for the microfilm. Yeah, I'm gonna just send Billy. And then we shall get check some it out. plot revealed to us. Okay. I have to like run really fast through this because of the leeches. God damn it. No, not the. <sighs> I give up. Okay. No, not the Incredible. God, okay, we have re re succeeded in obtaining one microphone. <laughs> now we have to find the other one. Among our <laughs> pile of shite. Where did I leave that one? Just pick everything up and put it back down again somewhere. I think it's... <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I think I know where it is, based on the map. It should be here. Okay. Of course I drop I of course I drop it like next to two screen transitions. But that frees up some space for on the floor in that room. Our room of inventory. We call it the iron box. <laughs> this mansion sucks. It really does. Okay, let's have a slideshow. A first. Okay. What? Oh, it's the seats, okay. In the big room. Okay. So, we know... The numbers. Okay, that's the ammo disc. Oh, yay! So now we go to that big room. Okay. That's okay. pretty much that. Okay. Come on. Right, come on, Rebecca. Okay. Let's 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 go and use the uh, the disc. <laughs> 